I think our reliance on property taxes in order to run government um, is reaching a point of um, unsustainability. Um, we keep hearing that at the state level, more needs to be done to shift the burden from our um, property owners, from, from residential property owners to other taxing jurisdictions. Um, I think that the tax system that used to work 30, 40 years ago no longer works and we need to um, uh, continue to put uh, pressure on our state legislature to uh, work on the taxing structure um, so that we can get some relief for our uh, residential property taxpayers. We need to look at um, our budget more closely and see how what what parts of our budget um, we could look at for um, um, reducing some of those expenses. Um, but ultimately, I think what's important is that we need to continue to provide the services that people expect the city to provide. Um, roads and um, our infrastructure, our police and our fire need to be covered. And um, I can tell you from, look, from working now in several um, budget seasons, um, what we are funding are not luxury items, are things that um, we absolutely need to provide for our community. And when people talk about cutting some of these um, programs that we run, we are talking about people's salaries that depend on this. And we would be putting more burden on the community if those people were not able to uh, continue to work. Uh, we also contribute to some organizations in the community that do an excellent job at providing the services they do. And if they didn't, that would fall on the city to, to help provide those services at a significantly higher cost. So it's looking at the, the, the cost-benefit analysis of where we invest our community dollars. Um, and um, I think we need to continue to look at where we can uh, be more effective with our dollars, but ultimately um, I think our system needs to change um, from, from the state on how we, um, th the taxing structure needs to be um, reconfigured.